What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be kind of an informative one, a how-to on how to utilize some of the features on our website. Uh, if you're new here or you're not aware, Custom Night Vision has custom night vision builders, surprise, surprise, uh, on our website where you can actually build out your own night vision solution utilizing housing, optics, and tubes of your choice. So we get a lot of questions about this um, builder. It, it's mostly confusion surrounding the terminology. So before I get into kind of the how-to segment of this video, I'm gonna go through kind of a vo vocabulary lesson uh, so we can make sure we're all squared up on the terminology. Um, night vision housings uh, look like this. And essentially what a night vision housing is, it's everything uh, a night vision device is minus the optics and the intensifier tubes. So you have all the electronics that control uh, the power supply to the tube, uh, any additional functions that are, I guess, available on your particular night vision system, be that IR illuminators, manual gain, independent pod cutoff, et cetera, et cetera. These are relatively simple electronic devices. They're just, you know, um, tailor-made for this use case or this feature set. So there's the housings there. We've got a few examples here and we'll go through those in a minute. Uh, the next thing that we want to talk about is optics. There's a lot of different optic options on our website. I've got four here. We've had uh, less in the past. We've had more in the past, but this is currently what we're offering. Uh, essentially what the optics are, they, consi they consist of two major components. You have an objective that goes on the front of the night vision device and you have an eyepiece or an ocular lens, uh, some people call it a diopter, that's really just this part here, but at any rate, you have an objective and an eyepiece. <clears throat> the next major component that needs to be selected or is required for a functioning night vision system is the intensifier tube. The intensifier tube is what actually makes all the night vision magic happen. It takes in light on one side, amplifies it by a magnitude of uh, some amount and then projects it out through the image screen on the other side where this eyepiece we talked about is going to put this into I don't know if you want to call it a format but it's going to make it palatable for you um, to make it as close to a one-to-one -one representation of what you would see with your unaided vision. Um, conversely the objective gathers light and projects it onto the photocathode here the front of the tube. So you can't have a functioning night vision device without all three of these components. Now that we've covered that, let's go through the different options that are on our website. Uh, I picked a handful of housings here uh, for representation. We do have more available, uh, several more actually, but for aesthetic purposes, I chose these four. Um, we have a DTMVS here. This is actually a DTMVS manual gain, a Katana Rugged, an AB Night Vision RNVGA, uh, and this is an MH1 in varying colors, as you can see. As far as uh, optic offerings, we have the mil spec option. This is actually a Noctis set here, uh, formerly Carson. We have RPO. This is the ultralight solution and my personal favorite. <clears throat> Note that these do come with their own lightweight diopter. We have the Photonis Boom Slang. This is a wider field of view option. This provides roughly 50 degree field of view. Uh, that's an increased over the standard 40 degrees. You can expect with the mil spec and the RPO options. And then the newcomer, new kid on the block, the Acton Black 50 degree. So we just did a video kind of comparing these two, more or less highlighting the Acton Black 50 degree optics. If you have questions about these or any of these optics, there's other videos on our website where you can go uh, kind of review their performance and compare them to each other. But my personal favorite has been the RPO for some time, um, but that's just my personal preference. Take it with a grain of salt. Uh, let's move over to intensifier tubes. So right now we have, I'm gonna say roughly four options because some of these come in different flavors within their own manufacturer. Um, first, first up is the Elbit Systems, uh, Elbit tubes, these primarily uh, are in white phosphor. From time to time, we, we do have some in green. It's very rare, so you know if we get them, usually we'll post them. If you need green phosphor Elbit tubes, we can we can get them as well. But be aware, there isn't a huge uh, price savings going with a 
a green phosphor Gen 3 tube, um, unless you're on the secondary market. But I think the difference in tube price for us is around about $100 a tube. It's not significant. Just buy the white phosphor if you're buying a new device. That would be my recommendation. Um, second, here on the table, we've got the L3 filmless tubes. So these actually come in uh, two flavors from us. We have the standard gain, which is what we have here on the table, and we have super gain. I'm not going to get into the, um, I guess, the minutia of the different part numbers and what that means. For the most part, it's irrelevant. When you can see pictures through the image intensifier as well as all the data sheet information up front, uh, don't concern yourself with whether it's an 18UA, 20UA, uh, 18UM, 24UA, whatever. It's not really important. Keep that in mind when you're purchasing a set of L3 tubes. The same goes for the, the uh, Elbit tubes. You know, they have varying part numbers. Uh, when you offer full transparency to your night vision customers, the part numbers uh, are not really a big deal. Uh, the third option here on the table is the Photonis tubes. So these come in a lot of different options. Historically, we've kept uh, Photonis Echoes in stock that with our product mix just made sense, but recently we've been, been getting some of the ComSpec tubes. Uh, I think most of these are in uh, green phosphor. Um, it's a good budget tube. The deal with Photonis is there's really just not very many tubes in circulation right now. A lot of them are getting eaten up in the, the European market. Completely understandable, uh, but we do have them from time to time. So, you know, keep an eye on the listings. As far as Photonis tubes, we're going to list almost all of them uh, when we get them. So if you select the hand-picked option, you're probably going to end up with a set that's already listed. So just keep that in mind as well. The last uh, but not least tube option here on the table is the NNVT. This is a really, relatively speaking, inexpensive option for tubes. They're more similar to Photonis than I, uh, I guess, realized when we first brought them on. They're, they share a lot of similarities in performance and actually just appearance. Yeah, these are made overseas. We have them in stock. We may list some of them as like match sets and singles so you can see through the tube as well as uh, get all the information off the data sheets. We haven't done that yet because these tubes are so consistently nearly identical. It's, it's almost unbelievable. It's to the point where I don't fully trust the data sheets. I'm sure they're accurate, but it's crazy. I mean, these tubes are all within like a point or two of SNR all the way up. It's wild. Uh, and most of them are clean. So uh, very few spots in the NNVT tubes. Um, you know, be aware that the NNVT tubes are not going to perform nearly as well as the generation three stuff. But uh, for the price point, they're really hard to beat. Now that we've established a shared understanding of the terminology, I'd like to guide you through configuring your unit independently. The first component that you will be prompted to select is the housing. As we just discussed, you need a housing to make the night vision work. Um, no, I cannot tell you which one is the best. It's really kind of user specific. So figure out which one of these that's going to work for you that you like the most. The second component that you will be prompted to select is optics. So we went over some of the options we have available. Again, figure out which one of these is gonna work best for your use case and your budget. The last and most convoluted or confusing component that you will be prompted to select is the tubes. So the way these are listed, be it individual or match sets, there's a picture for each individual tube and the specs or the uh, information on the data sheet is typed out in the actual item description. So when you go to the drop down, after you've narrowed down what kind of tube you want and uh, I guess what FOM level that fits within your budget, you will select that those tubes based on the specs and the picture will be populated on the left hand side of the screen. If there are any um, spots or anything like that in the tube, they should be called out in that item description and they will also be shown in the picture. So I hope this sheds some light on what the night vision builder is, what the options mean, and what each one of these product segments kind of like pertains to. Um, this is not tubes. This, these are tubes, and you can't use these without one of these or these. So uh, just be aware, if you buy a housing and optics and, and call us and say, um, why is this night vision so cheap? Is this on sale? Like, I don't understand. I'm going to refer you back to this video 
and, and then we'll pick up where we left off. But as always, thank you for watching. I hope this answered some of your questions. Get down in the comments and tell a funny story about the first time you tried to buy night vision. We will respond as soon as we can. Thanks. Have a great day.